Let's be honest, buildings are weird. We spend all day inside them, working, sleeping, eating our feelings, yet we rarely stop to think about the giant concrete marshmallows we call offices or the Lego-like apartments scraping the sky. Architecture, my friends, is the unsung hero of our lives, the silent backdrop to our daily dramas. And sometimes, it's downright hilarious. Have you ever seen a building so ugly it's almost art? Like a car crash you can't look away from? That's the beauty of it. Buildings can be beautiful, strange, awe-inspiring, and sometimes just plain funny. They're like the eccentric relatives you can't help but invite to Thanksgiving. You might secretly judge their questionable fashion choices. That brutalist concrete monstrosity, anyone? But hey, they add character to the family portrait. So buckle up, because we're about to take a wild ride through the world of modern American architecture, where the buildings are wacky, the styles are wild, and the jokes, well, they design themselves. Modern architecture is like that friend who can't stick to one aesthetic. One minute they're all about minimalist chic, the next they're rocking a retro vibe. It's a melting pot of styles, each with its own quirks and charms. First up, we've got mid-century modern, the architectural equivalent of a perfectly aged whiskey. Think clean lines, organic shapes, and a dash of mad men cool. It's all about blending indoor and outdoor spaces, because who doesn't love a good houseplant? Then there's brutalism, the rebellious teenager of the architecture world. It's raw, it's bold, it's basically the architectural embodiment of a concrete fist bump. Love it or hate it, you can't deny its impact. And of course, no architectural adventure would be complete without a touch of contemporary, the ever-evolving style that's all about pushing boundaries. Think sustainable materials, cutting-edge technology, and designs that look like they belong in a sci-fi movie. It's like architecture is trying to one-up itself, constantly coming up with new and exciting ways to make us go, wait, how did they even build that? America, the land of the free, home of the brave, and surprisingly, some pretty iconic buildings. We're talking architectural masterpieces that are so recognizable, they're practically celebrities in their own right. Take Frank Gehry's Walt Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles, for example. It's like a giant, shimmering spaceship landed in the middle of downtown. You can't look at it without feeling a sense of awe, or maybe a mild case of vertigo. Then there's The Glass House by Philip Johnson, a minimalist masterpiece that's basically a giant fishbowl for architecture enthusiasts. It's the kind of place where you can imagine Don Draper sipping martinis and contemplating the meaning of life, or at least the meaning of good design. And let's not forget about Falling Water. Frank Lloyd Wright's masterpiece that seems to defy gravity itself. It's like a waterfall decided to take up architecture, and honestly, we're not mad about it. These buildings aren't just pretty faces, they represent the very soul of American architecture. They're bold, they're innovative, and they prove that even in a country obsessed with practicality, we still have a soft spot for buildings that make us go, wow. Architecture isn't just about fancy buildings for the rich and famous. It's about the spaces we inhabit every day. From the cozy coffee shops where we get our caffeine fix to the sprawling libraries where we get lost in a good book. Think about it. The way a building is designed can affect your mood, your productivity, even your social life. Ever walked into a room with floor-to-ceiling windows and felt your stress melt away? That's the power of good design, baby. But it's not all sunshine and roses. Bad architecture can be a real downer. That cramped, fluorescent-lit office cubicle? Yeah, that's not doing your mental health any favors. And don't even get me started on those confusing airport terminals that feel like they were designed by a Rubik's Cube enthusiast. The point is, architecture matters. It shapes our experiences, influences our emotions, and reminds us that even in a world obsessed with technology, there's still beauty to be found in the built environment. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go stare longingly at pictures of Frank Lloyd Wright houses.